Well, day one of fall camp for the 2018 football season is in the books. We're here with Bobcat head coach Jeff Choate. And coach, the one thing that really stood out to me in just watching day one, energy. There was plenty of it. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we tell these guys the secret ingredient is. And they brought it today, and I'm hoping that they can do that each and every day because while the while the execution wasn't perfect, obviously, on day one in every, in every aspect, the energy I thought was excellent. And if they'll bring that kind of focus and energy each day, we're going to improve. Obviously, the quarterback battle is something that many people are going to be watching. Nothing answered on day one, but how do you go about dividing the reps to make sure everybody gets their looks? Well, one of the things we're doing a little bit differently is we've got the two fields going, and so we're going to be able to get each kid about the same amount of reps every day. It's not like they're going to go to the meeting room and he's like, well, how do you evaluate me because I only got five and this guy got 12. And So everybody's going to get the reps. We're going to spread them out. I think it's going to benefit everybody on the team, not just the quarterbacks. Our young guys are going to get more reps more quickly and uh, put some more things on film for us to evaluate and go over with them and, and uh, kind of formulate our pecking order. Aside from quarterback, what are some other positions that will be hotly contested? I think DB is going to be interesting. I think we're going to have some really tough battles at corner and safety. Uh, I think linebacker is going to be – it might even end up being one of those deals where it's almost, you know, they're in a rotation because we've got so many guys that have so much talent and, and uh, bring maybe a, a little bit different skill set to the table. And But that's going to be, a, I think, a lot of – there's going to be a lot of competition at that position. I think you see it at Buck and Sam uh, on the offensive line. That fifth offensive line position, I think, is really critical to pay attention to. And then I think, you know, I, I think running back's going to be kind of, it's kind of interesting. I thought, you know, Isaiah did some good things on day one. And if there's a position where a young guy can play, it's probably, it's probably running back. I know Ty Greg Rag had two or three things he wanted to accomplish. Better pass rush, more turnovers, get off the field on third down. Heard the turnover horn, horn go off an awful lot here on day one. How pleased were you with what you saw out of the defense? Yeah, I thought, well, here's the thing. I mean, you know, some of those throws, we better make those plays. And, you know, you're going to have some turnovers. I think I, I had three in team situations, which is the goal of the defense each day. But I also saw four drop balls. And that's what we've got to stop doing. You know, I mean, if we were talking about last night. I mean, you know, we probably dropped seven or eight interceptions last year, you know. And so um, while I'm pleased that they're getting their hands on the ball and that we did take the ball away a number of times, I don't want to see those missed opportunities. That's the thing that we've got to we've got to turn those missed opportunities into explosive plays. And lastly, conditioning. These guys, most of the team was here all summer. How did that conditioning, how did their offseason work show up here on day one? I think it allowed them to push through a little bit of a challenging first day because we had some humidity, which we have not experienced at all this summer. We've had a really mild summer until right now and a little bit more heat. And so, uh, plus we train in the morning where the, where the temperatures are cool. So, you know, we had a few guys cramping here or there, but mo for the most part, they pushed through and I thought it was good. Day one down, day two on Saturday. We'll have uh, daily reports here on MSUBobcats.com. So check back often for all of that. With head coach, I'm Jay Sanderson for MSUBobcats.com.